My name is Gregory Johan Mendel. I was born on July 22, 1822. My parents are Adam and Rosie Mendel. I grew up in my family's farm, which is in Hensendorf, Austria. At the age of 11, when a local schoolmaster who was impressed with my aptitude for learning recommended me to be sent to a secondary school in Trapau to continue my education. The move was a financial strain on my family and often a difficult experience for me, but I finished my studies and in 1840, I graduated from school with honors. Then, I enrolled in a two-year program at the Philosophical Institute of the University of Olmos, and I graduated from the program in 1843. That same year, against the wishes of my father, who expected me to take over the family farm, I began to study to be a monk, joined the Augustinian order at the same time as monastery in Brno. And at that time, the monastery was a cultural center for the region and I was immediately exposed to the research and teaching of its members, and also gained access to the monastery's extensive library and experimental facilities. In 1854, I began to research the transmission of the hereditary traits in a plant hybrid. It is a general fact that the hereditary traits of the offsprings of any species were merely the dilutive blending of whatever traits were present in the parents. Also, that over generations, a hybrid will revert to its original form the implication of which suggested that a hybrid could not create new forms. However, the results of such many studies were often skewed by the relatively short period of time during which the experiments were conducted. My research continued over as many as eight years, between 1856 and 1863, and it involved tens of thousands of individual plants. I chose to use peas for one of my experiments due to their many theistic varieties and because offsprings could be quickly and easily produced. I cross-fertilized pea plants that had clearly opposite characteristics, fall with short, smooth with wrinkled, and those containing green seeds with those containing yellow seeds. And after analyzing the results, I reached two of my most important conclusions. The law of segregation, which established that there are dominant and recessive traits passed on randomly from parents to offsprings, and the law of independent assortment, which established that the traits were passed on independently of other traits from parent to offspring. I also propose that this heredity follow basic statistical laws. Law of segregation. The law of segregation stated that for any trait, each parent's pairing of genes is split, and one gene passes from each parent to an offspring. Which particular gene in a pair gets passed on is completely up to change. Law of independent assortment. This law states that different pairs of alleles are passed onto the offspring independently of each other. Therefore, inheritance of genes at one location in a genome does not influence the inheritance of genes at another location. I hope that in the future, all my efforts, researches, and experiments can become a useful tool for what I'm passionate about, science. I was likely influenced by Johann Karl Nestler a scientist interested in hereditary traits and agriculture. I originally intended the pea experiments to show that variability on an offspring is caused by parental influence. Darwin has suggested that variability occurs when there is an environmental change. I disagreed with Darwin's theory because of my religious background. I was recommended by a priest to enter the monastery. While in the monastery, I spent years studying Greek, Hebrew pedagogical methods, and theology, and I became an Austenian monk. Ideas and theories that Darwin was presenting at the time, I didn't believe, because I believed that God was the creator of all life. Because in 1874, after joining the monastery, I became devoted to religion, and believing God was the creator of life, which challenged Darwin and other evolutionists of the time. <laughs>